I'm back, Timmy. Welcome back, Miss Clara. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Sparrow. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. How about he just doesn't try to upset us? It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. I don't think they're our strong point either. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Bronya. Bronya is the only one equipped to deal with this situation. Let's go. Hi. Um, I kind of expected you to be like in a building or something and I'd have to come to you, not like be right there. I'm back, Mr. Sparag. I haven't prepared, emotionally. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. Could you use Jabbard's technique? But why have you brought them? <sighs> Mr. Sparag, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. No, 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 no. You preface it with a they have a variable to your calculations and then you say that so now he doesn't just attack without listening Analyzing. analysis result target does not belong to wildfire background unknown classification unknown you have arrived on clara's recommendation oh that's good i will give you an opportunity to speak thank you Svarg. oh hey sounds like he's willing to communicate Quick, time to smooth talk him. Me? Bronya's talented. We're not interested in sticking conflict. We're here about the future of the underground. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is... Oh shit, I've forgotten it already. Something of the mind. <laughs> oh god, I've got to reread that monologue. I don't remember. An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. I know, I said that's how we should have led, but you all ignored me. We're here, we're a variable. Oh, but the stellar on. He said pick a variable, so I picked the variable, even though I wanted to go with the Stellaron option. Uh, we're here about the Stellaron. I mean, that's a... Uh, yeah. We're cutting to the chase. We're not asking questions, we're just telling. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Oh, lovely. Prohibited. Super. You were broaching this is a gonna secret go far. that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron, but it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already. Just be straight with him. I thought I was. Everything depends on it. How was I not already being straight with him? We must find the Stellaron and then we want to bring this world's disasters to a close. That's straight to it. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. You're not supposed to be able to tell Without me that. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed, attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. Well, ours aren't selfish. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. I don't know the answer. Uh, your powers of calculation suck. <laughs> um, um, I don't really know which way we're supposed to be going. I mean, it's not wrong. Uh, but this just seems like you're desperate and you're trying to, like, play for time. I kind of really like this option. We're not like those others. There is no evidence to suggest I was going to say the exact same exception. thing. <laughs> Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. 
And this is where I die. Please, don't! Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring Automaton Svarag. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. See, I could have... If I'd known that I was going straight into battle, I could have prepared. I could have won, used Japard's technique before I got into this conversation. Um, I could have gone out and farmed some plebs to get everybody's ultimate up and ready to go for this battle. Like, there are steps I could have taken, and now I think nobody's got their ultimate even close to being ready. Jeppard's, you know, barrier is long, long, a long time away, and then I haven't already got his technique up, so. Annihilation permitted. It's gonna be unfortunate. Annihilation permitted, says who? This is not gonna work. Oh, cool. I don't have any of those first two elements in my team. Is this gonna go great? In the name of Landau. Years of cold hardens the will. I think I need to uh, reconfigure my party for this battle as well. Just having done hung. Not really, not really a good battle. Yeah, this ain't it. This ain't it. Um, do you do more damage or do I do more damage? Uh, I don't know. It's gonna hurt. Do you know who I am? I don't know Ever which of us do more damage overall. No, who to use the technique point on? Oh, the, whatever these stupid things are. Two percent. Let's make it quick. We went down two percent. Take this. That also went down two percent. Jeez, Louise. rules are made to be broken. I hope you're prepared. Oh, he can be frozen. That's nice. What level is he? 30. So there's only three levels above me. Okay. What are you looking at? This is rough. Better up. Rough. Executing annihilation. Ow. Calculating result. <laughs> You will know justice. The truth of life and death. Reveal this sanctuary. Is but a vision. Analysis complete. Uh oh, for other action. And then hung. Literally the only guy who can do anything is practically dead. Hmm. <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? Yeah, that's what everyone was telling me and I ignored them and, you know, here we are. All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Does that mean you're gonna heal me? <laughs> Nat, how did you... Clearly Sampo. Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Why does this guy sound like he's from, like... Where is it? Is it Chicago where they have this accent? I don't know. Somewhere up in the north of America, they've got this accent. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing all subjects are high risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Yeah, this is not going to go so well for me. I think I need to be higher level than the boss, even though that's physically impossible. Bro just, it, <gasps> Bro just healed? Not me, him. Of Years of cold. He went up to 77% or 79 wind. or whatever it was. We shall never fall. I could have passed that percentage, damn it. The truth of life and death revealed this sanctuary. It's but a vision. So that's my one free heal, I suppose, with Natasha up here. Ah. Uh, do you know who I am? Ever see a diamond this big? Oh, it's all yours! Rules are made to be broken. I don't want to level up another character to win this battle. It just feels cheap. Cheap! Decisive strike! Move carefully. Let's go. Let's go, girls. Do I hope you're prepared. Come on. Frozen good. Frozen very good. Huh. 
Let's make it quick. Take this! Time to twirl! Oh, yay! <laughs> I got him on the half health. It's gonna hurt. Something. Push forward. Oh, no. Why would you do such a thing? I was already struggling. I was already struggling. Press an embrace. Oh, no. Aww. Step aside. That just I have seems no real mean. In conflict. Uh, I don't know. But what is this? When the summoner is defeated, the summoned objects will also be defeated. So it's gonna hurt if I don't kill it. But if he dies. The truth of life I mean, she's out of commission, in which is not ideal, but... It's but a vision. Hmm, I don't know the best, best way to go about this. I go on and just keep this hitting him. Ends here. Oh, damn it, no points for impair. In the name of Landau, I'll take the extra shield. Years of We're, fine. The We're fine. We're fine. What about fall. the self-destruct, though? It's probably not going to go so well. You, must be you didn't get me. it! Because you're not on my team, technically. Oh, that sucks. You. Oh, I just completely take damage from in there. Not him. You may hit anybody but him. Result. Clemency never hurt. Twelve percent. Do you know who I am? Ever see a diamond this big? Oh, it's all yours! I think whatever it's about to do is going to hurt. A lot. Executing operation. It'll take more than that. Come on. Three percent! We got right. this. Three measly percents Rules are made to be broken. Yeah, battle over. Okay, he doesn't explode. That's nice. Wait, are you just gonna kill him? Please, Please don't hurt Mr. Sparrow. Kill him both! Clara! <laughs> you... I love the fierceness with which Natasha was just gonna absolutely eat this man into oblivion. Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Don't hurt him. Serves him right. Claire. Ra. Mr. Svarog, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mr. Svarog, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like... Like family. It's taking everything in my power right now not to just skip her dialogue because her voice acting is just infuriating me. I don't like you sounding like a child and your innocence it really makes me uh, annoyed. Can you just not talk? Recently, I learned something new. I just want to skip it. Calculation Ugh. results can't always bring people happiness, even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful. People still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable 1. Clara's request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment resolve. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Hey, it's a win! Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. Hey! So... So we did it? We did! And suck it, guys. You kept sh shitting on me saying, You need Natasha, you need a healer to fight Svarog. Ha! Maybe the game gets more difficult after this fight, I don't know, but the fight itself, heh, <laughs> nobody died. Goss is too great. Thanks to Clara, our strength has been recognized. Although, if Clara hadn't been here, Svarog would never have granted us access to the intel, right? Even up until the end. I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Well, he pretty much indicated that it does. Is this it, Nat? 
Us, Wildfire, the Underworld, did... did we win? There's no winning until Stellaron's dealt with. No, Zima. And Kakolia is dealt with. Our battle, their battle, it's just beginning. Now speak, machine. Finally. We finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? No. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. The truth can be heartbreaking. It's up to you to make your own judgement about who's lying now. Your mother. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Half the Wizard of Oz. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Does that even mean? I don't know what that means. But I'm sure it's important. Defeat the Tin Man and the Little... G oh! <laughs> Half the Wizard of Oz. I get it. Out of the four, we've defeated two of them. Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. Deal equal to or more than 1,000 damage in a single... I, I did? When? Who? Who? Who in my party did that? It has to have been Dan Hung, because he's the only one dealing damage that time. Interesting. I will take that. Thank you. We're just slowly going to whittle down this pity. Oopsies, wrong button. Surely it's time... Oh, it's not going to tell me. I was like, surely it's time that I get a four star. But it's not going to... So that was that was yesterday's effort. Hmm. Anywho, speak to me, Tin Can. I have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed? Outsiders. Oh, did I get healed? Let's have it. Requesting database materials cache. Serial number 13175. Encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so-called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. Which Madam Guardian is this? Because we've had a few. The people will struggle to mm. accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this, Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless... Unless what? Please, proceed, Madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cash number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. The Supreme Guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. All the decisions are, are for the security of Malabog. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <coughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. Uh, when you find a way to 
Destroy. <laughs> Destroy the Stellaron. Our efforts will have been worth it. Cash number 248. Yep, yeah, okay. Is, Next. Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Oh, his battery's low, I just noticed. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cash number 5761. So, the truth is clear now, right? <gasps> They were looking for a way to destroy the Stellaron. And it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just... I feel a little faint. Um, you can believe us Why? now. Why, Mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe yeah, yeah, she... she was. I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. Hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this I don't. information. Didn't like teach me anything, and, and we I have need to, to know. decide on our next plan as soon as possible. It, all it did is tell us that they're trying to destroy the stellar. I'm like, I don't care. That means nothing to me. The furnace core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. I would like to visit other towns here in the underworld. Because in the overworld, all you have is just the one town of Bellabog or whatever it is. And that's it. But under here, they said that there are multiple small towns underneath. I'd like to, you know, get a, a grasp of just how big the community is down here. Because at the present, it seems like super tiny. Uh, but they originally gave us the impression that it was quite large. And I'd like to see evidence of that. Is what came at the right moment to thank you? When did Dr. start carrying weapons around? That seems well, like a bad question. Well, you should question. really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the Underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. You're welcome, Molinday's work for a hero. We did it for us. It wasn't as selfless as you made out. Any chance of a more tangible show of thanks? Oh, hell yeah. A person is defined by their actions alone. I think that's how the saying goes. If the Underworld recovers its freedom, the people will see you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we Undergrounders could go no. pouring onto the surface. There'd be guards there guarding from the Furnace Core, and the minute you guys sort of like pop out of there, you'd be like shot to pieces. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the Underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. With things as they are, you want to take a back seat? It'd be difficult for us to defeat the Guardian alone. Of course, there's no doubt about that. 
So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Are you sending Zampa with me? Sila. Oh, Sila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Nice. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. Will she stand with it us? It seems like the intel we got from Svarog caused her a significant shock. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. That's what I keep saying. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Oh, the seriousness of breakfast. Cute. Shadow Destruction. Hey, that's for me! Surviving Hope. Ultimate level plus two up to maximum of level 15. Activate. Does that mean that I can do my traces more? No. We're all still locked out until I guess we ascend. Not good with farewells. Oh hey, didn't we need that quest for something? Yay, then we can do our trial of the equilibrium. What is this forgotten hall? Oh, that's right, fleeting lines, which I don't know where that is. Yep, cool, 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 cool. Go over everything with the group back in town. Okay. My question is, are there other uh, quests? I can't even, okay. I was gonna see if I could do other side quests that were available, but I can't go there, so it doesn't matter. Hold up. Okay, I thought so. I thought that's where it would be. Equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium. Is that preservation? Whatever his name was. Um, the air seems to heat up suddenly and a sticky wind grips onto your ankles, leaving you feeling sticky wind. How is wind sticky? Leaving you feeling intuitively uncomfortable. Equilibrium mutters a low, emotionless voice. It shouldn't be a capital letter. Another whisper echoed as if in symphony. That should be a comma. Although, I suppose for drama's purpose, you could put a colon. The universe should be in equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium. Do you need to do something? Yes. Equilibrium. Small letter. Small letter. The arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a try. Arbiters? This is ar for the betrayers. equilibrium of all worlds. You must demonstrate your strength. You skipped a syllable. The strong will be given greater opportunities. The weak, a chance to breathe. Your point? Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. Mm -hmm. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards. Is this just the game saying once you complete this quest and you do your trial and your like world level goes up and everything goes up in difficulty? Is that seriously all we're saying? After equilibrium, you oh, because the name of the quest is equilibrium, and it doesn't it? Yet more trial. Okay, cool. All right then. Equilibrium. It is for this. Echo, yeah, that's all it's saying in a very, very unnecessarily dramatic way. As your trailblaze level goes up, you'll need to complete trials of the equilibrium to increase your equilibrium level, which I don't ever want to do, but you know, such is life. The enemies will have stronger stats, but so will you, and of course, defeating them will drop more rewards. Wait, I thought you said I had to finish the quest first. I haven't finished the quest. So I had to just get the quest, is what you're telling me. Okay, anywho, not what I'm doing. Hi, Lorda. I have 340 to spend. Well, let's go. Yes, another reward. Fermat. 